In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can change the opacity of video clips on the timeline. This has now been restored as of November 16th, 2023. So I have two clips on the timeline. And I'm going to enlarge the timeline so we can see better in both directions. And what you notice is there's a little white line right above the picture, right below the title. If I drag it up and down, it will change the opacity of the clip. Now, if I want to change the in and out, there's two ways I can do that. One is just hold the control key down and select a click it and set a keyframe. And then I'll drag this down and I'll hold control and click over here and drag this one down too. And now when I play this clip, I should get a fade in and fade out. We'll click here, fades in, and then back I can fade out. I'll stop it here and I'll just put a couple others in here to show you can do this anywhere inside the clip that you want. We'll do a complete fade out right here in the middle and we'll set this in and it'll go to black and then it'll fade up again and fade out. Now, another way you can handle this is to take the clip and click on edit and then you can do under opacity, fade and blend, you can do a fade in, fade out. That's a quick way to do it using the menus, but you don't have to get in the menu structure at all. You can use this option that we've just showed you in the revised update of PowerDirector 365.